Hello everyone, uh, this is Hunter at Vapor Hunting Technologies. Today we're going to discuss some frequently asked questions about the VH800 base. Yes, this is the same size as the Weekend Warrior and the 800 FL. We commonly get asked that question, what's the difference? The features are the main differences of this cabinet. So we're gonna kind of go over everything and discuss frequently asked questions we get, plus some. Um, first one is what power does this run off of? This is a 110 standard machine. The only thing that's gonna make a vapor honing machine 220 with the exception of a couple higher end machines is gonna be the heater. If you get a heater on it or you just prefer 220, we can make it that way or it will come that way if you get the heater. This is a standard 110, has a GFCI on it, so you can just plug it into the wall and get blasting. Second frequently asked question is what is this at the back of the machine? This is an exit, but it's only meant for air to come out of. So. Basically what this is doing is equalizing your air pressure because as you put air into the cabinet, the air obviously has to come out somewhere, which is what this pipe is good for. This elbow and this pipe here, there should never be any fog or anything like that coming out of it. If you do have fog coming out of it, it's either really humid where you're blasting or you might wanna turn your pressure down because you're atomizing your water. Third question is, can you add a wiper to this machine? You cannot. You will have to go to the VH800FL to get the wiper on your machine as a standard feature. This machine, you will not be able to add the wiper to. Inside, we often get asked how many lights are in this cabinet. There is one light inside of this cabinet. It is a two foot LED light strip. It's a little bit different than the Weekend Warrior. In the Weekend Warrior, you have the floodlight that sits on the left-hand side. This is gonna provide you more of a broad and clear-cut light across the entirety of the cabinet. What do I have in this machine to wash the window down? You do have a window rinse in this machine. So it is on a timer. You can set that timer to whatever you like. We have it, I think, set to about 30 seconds for a couple seconds spray. Again, you can play around with it, adjust it to your liking, but you do have a window rinse to rinse down your window. The next question, would be what is the back regulator for back here of course you have standard regulator up here but you also have one back here this is to control your overflow valve down here so this needs to be set to about 60 psi that way you have enough pressurization to where it doesn't leak your media and your water mixture that comes from your hopper to your gun while you're blasting in this cabinet uh, next frequently asked question is what is the overflow valve so on the weekend warrior it's a manual overflow valve this is when you add water from your window rinse and your internal rinse down nozzle you're gonna have to drain that water off to equalize your water to abrasive ratio inside of your hopper down here. That is what this automatic overflow valve does. On the Weekend Warrior, it's a manual. It will definitely benefit you if you are very forgetful like me and forget to drain the overflow valve. Could also help if you have multiple people in the shop to automate as much as possible so there is the least amount of remembering and more ease of use and more of a convenience. If you guys have any more questions about the VHA Hunter base, please let us know. We are happy to help anytime. 828-202-5563.